looking for somebody to put down on my down on my team. Baby girl, you got me flipping out. So full of trouble. Would you tell me what it's all about? Hey Alexa, stop. That was Jaheem looking for love. Looking for love and all the places. Been around, seen a lot of different faces. We both eating. It is what it is, baby. Baby? Little baby? <laughs> I can't wait till your cheeks be on my cheeks. Baby, don't get me started, please. Can we not? Yeah. Don't get me started. I got what? Two weeks? To your salad get tossed, yeah. 17. Wait a minute. I got a week, week and a half. Week and a half. All right, guys. I am your girl, your queen, your goddess. Talk about it, Sakina. And that over there, right, wrong direction. <laughs> right over there is the king himself. One of these days, that's what we're going to do. We gonna, you going to hand me something and I'm going to grab it. Make it look like you really handed me a graham cracker or something. Um... <laughs> um oh I got the perfect thing. I do too. Cause I thought about it and I'm like Mine would be funny. I yeah, I'm on to something. I I ain't gonna say it on camera. We gonna do it though. Um we might be on the same page with that. But anyways, we are talking about are you ready for what you say you really want? And I'm a I'm a I'm a jump out on this one. I didn't almost knocked the, the dang camera over. Um women say they want a man with money. Right? I, I just seen a post. I just seen a post and it said, Do you want a man with money and less time? Or limited time, or do you want a man that has no money with all the time in the world? And and I kid you not, only one woman in the whole post said, "Give me the man that ain't got no money and I got time, because we gonna make money together." Only one female. Everybody else. This 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 was what I seen a bulk of the women saying. Just because he got money don't mean his time is limited. He can make time. But you can't change it for what you wanted to say. It say he got limited time because he out making money. He traveling. He all over the place. Let's just say he Dr. Umar. He out there. He got money, but he ain't got no time for you. But you want a man with money. You okay with that? That's going to work for you? Yeah, probably not. Hell, some females actually will. They like, I don't care. I just want his money. But then you don't never see him. They don't care. They literally just want the money. Yeah. And nope. then, then they, they want the money. Huh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. They want the money. They want the man with the money. But then because there's no time, they cheat with the man that don't got the money. Yes. Can we talk about that? So you go find the man you really want that got the time to give you the attention you want, to spend time with you, go to the movies, do all the things you want to do. But the man that's giving you the money to get you around the nice car, nice apartment, nice house, whatever, credit cards, good credit, the one that's status quo that look good on paper, he funding you cheating on him. It's it's legit a human way of build a bear. You right? Because 
the she going she going to go deal with the dude that don't got money because he got he he got the good uh bedroom and then cuz he ain't got no money but got the good bedroom now she hungry she either going door dash or she stumble across a dude that's a chef and that knows how to cook so now she she didn't built herself a man. She just gotta go to three different places to deal with. She got three different places. She didn't put herself together, the perfect man, but he in three different parts. Yeah, no. So, and then be mad and be like, "Ugh, you a nasty female when it comes to palandry." You right. You is so right. So let's just talk about the fact that the man with money is probably cheating too because he ain't getting his needs met because he always on the road. He always traveling. So he you he doing what you doing. Mm -hmm. But you find out he cheating. You get mad, but you doing the same thing because he ain't found out you cheating. Because women are slick. It's, it's who found out what first. Exactly. Because women are slick. Oh, not. And I know y'all seen me like push this back out of my mouth. That's fine. Uh, but you're mad at him for cheating and most likely using an escort service. You paying for it. Well, What's the difference between you and the escort? The escort knows her place. She ain't hiding what it what's going down. It's like if y'all need to go back and watch our other video, we literally talked about the woman that got cheated on. She was a stay at home wife. She got cheated on. Her man replaced her with a younger version of her. Because the woman was proud to be a side piece. That's a job. Because guess what? You as a woman who ain't trying to figure out. I, I check in with my king. And, and I wasn't consistent for maybe a couple months. And I just recently was like, let me check in with you. What are your emotions? How are you feeling? What's going on? You good? How many women doing that for their man? Ever. Because I just recently started doing that. I wasn't doing that in the past. I wasn't asking him about his emotions, his feelings, his needs. I was not. And since we've been here together or whatever, I've been checking in with her. So now she's flipping the script and trying to beat me to the punch. But then with her beating me to the punch, then that just means I don't have to Go ahead and do it. We done already talked about it. Exactly. A month or so go by again. Bam. Check in again. Because and, and and for me, what started it is the I can't remember his name, but you're gonna know who I'm talking about. Uh Ellen's DJ. I think he was Ellen's DJ. He wanted a perfect life, happy, married, kids, all that. Job, good job. You know, he was Ellen's DJ. And he wound up committing suicide, allegedly. He committed suicide. One, no signs of depression, stress, nothing. Committed suicide. And that's why, don't come for her. That's why she's saying allegedly, because if everything was right, he had his woman, he had his kids, he had money, he had fame. Why would it why would there be any trouble? Exactly. So that's why y'all, regardless of whatever, y'all need to check in with y'all man because he may be going through something that y'all are unaware of. Hell, he may be going through some just on the fact, like, hey, they they didn't switch the routine up at the job and now I get paid less. I still get to pay the same number, technically. But they didn't pull the switcheroo, so now I'm taking home less. And that may stress him. 
So you need to check in with him. Like, as men, men are were born to carry a lot, a lot on their shoulders, which is basically a lot on their mind. Um case in point, like without the fame and money, like y'all want the man to provide, to to proclaim, to do all this stuff for you. And if we are good enough to do this stuff for you, but there's no reciprocation any way, shape, or form, that load gets heavy. But then y'all want to, as women, y'all want to say, oh, I'm his helpmate, but you ain't helping me with shit. It gets heavy. I I can speak on from experience friends i have friends where you know there's friends where stay at home moms or stay at home wives stay at home girlfriends they want the man to take care of everything everything i'm gonna sit home and look cute i'm gonna go get my nails done i'm gonna go to brag to my friends that he's taking care of everything i could do the same thing but i'm still out here helping him i literally i've said it on video I don't care if he ain't bringing nothing in. Back, the reason we even separated and divorced, I was like, he, he, he ain't working. He ain't got nothing going on. Ain't nothing happening. I'm stressing trying to pay these bills by myself. I didn't even see or acknowledge that he was out here in these streets doing Instacart and DoorDash, doing what he could. That, that, that month that we wasn't seeing out of eye because of finances, I brought in two thousand dollars, got my ticket, and flew out and moved back here. Gone. Of course, I didn't. I didn't see all of that too. I didn't know. I didn't know. So, my mindset now. I don't. I don't care. They. Oh, I mean, it need to be 50 50 or it need to be the man bringing everything in and the woman. The woman does whatever, she can do whatever. I'm going to pay her a, 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 an allowance. Ain't Don't you ever insult me by telling me you giving me an allowance. Don't ever insult me like that. Oh, she, she ain't talking to me because I know better. <laughs> she talking to y'all. <laughs> if a man ever say, yeah... I want you on my team. I'm going to give you an allowance. Do you know who I am? He about to start controlling you because as soon, if he got to fit that bill, when he comes to your house, case in point, my brother even said at one point to one of his chicks, if I got to come here and the house ain't clean and food ain't cooked, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to deal with you. So... With you having your bills, your financial needs met, if you think that don't come with something, you're going to be sadly mistaken when he come and, and, and he wants something. Men do that for, as an investment. They invest in, in you so that when they it's time to return them dividends, you know, I don't care what it is. They're going to want something. I don't care if it's a year from now. They're going to want something. Yes. Yes. 